Hello and welcome back to the box office guys. Now before we get started, I have attached my other social media outlets and a website is coming soon. So please go ahead and follow my other works on the other social media platforms. As I mentioned, website is coming soon so that I can spam out more boxing news and these videos as a one cohesive unit. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a busy week for boxing, which means it's a good thing for us boxing fans, but it can get a little confusing as about the who, what, when, and where I can watch these fights. This fight in particular is going to be on the zone, and it's going to be one of two cards being shown on the zone. One of them being the Triple G fight. This one, Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel Tago. Now, Ryan Garcia. This is his first fight with a new trainer, Goosen, who is looking to improve the fighter and get him in a winning streak. Previous trainer of Ryan Garcia was Eddie Reynoso, Team Canelo. And for one reason or another, things didn't work there. And there was a little back and forth, little kind of beef, you could say. He didn't leave in the greatest of terms. But he's with a new trainer, so that means new opportunities and new fights. Emmanuel Tago, just a guy that we didn't expect to be in this belt. We have heard names such as Isaac Cruz, Tank Davis, Devin Haney, George Combosos. We ended up with Emmanuel Tago. Little known, lesser known of a fighter, but nonetheless, fight is on. Okay, so... We have Ryan Garcia, who is a massive, massive Vegas favorite. He's actually a 1,450 favorite, meaning you have to bet $1,450. And if he wins, you get 100 in return. Not a good return investment, but that's how much of a favorite he is. He's going to enter the ring at 21-0, 18 of those wins coming by the way of knockout. He is going to be standing at 5'10 with a 70-inch reach. His last three fights, Luke Campbell, which was, to me was a very impressive fight. He won that fight by TKO after being down himself. Francisco Fonseca by KO and Romero Duno by KO. So for Ryan Garcia, let's say he gets over the hurdle of Emmanuel Togo. We're looking for big fights. What's next for Ryan Garcia? The swapping trainers happen. Let's say he pulls off the victory. What do we get next? Do we get Isaac Cruz? Jumboa? Do we get a Devin, the winner of Devin Haney versus Combosos? Teofimo? What do we get? And that's what we want to know right now from Ryan Garcia is what is next? We know that he's a big social media star. But we want that to translate over to the boxing world where he does get a big crowd. But... We want to see him with a formidable opponent. Not taking anything away from Emmanuel Tago, who is a massive Vegas underdog at a plus 750. You bet $100. He pulls off an upset, one of the biggest in boxing history, I would imagine. You get $750 if you bet 100. Now he's going to enter the ring with a record of 32 wins. And one loss. 15 of those wins coming by the way of KO. But that one loss was by TKO. But here's something interesting. It was his pro debut as well. So after he got knocked out in his pro debut. He dusted himself off. He has 32 consecutive wins. And he's trying to make it 33. Now his height is 5'8". And I was unable to find his reach online on BoxRec. So I just left it as a question mark. His last three fights have been a Miss Jordy decision against Mason Menard, a TKO victory against Ishmael Ariti, and a unanimous decision against Vyacheslav Gusev. This would be, as I mentioned, a huge, huge, huge upset if he pulls this off. But that's why we fight. You never know what can happen. One punch can change the dynamic of the fight, can put Ryan Garcia in trouble. And if he goes in there and just works his butt off, who knows? He might pull it off. Keys of victory for both fighters. And let's go with the Vegas favorite, Ryan Garcia. So Ryan Garcia, first things first, I want to see what Goosen has done and what he has taught you. So for one, I want to see you work your defense a little bit more. 
don't pull straight back because if you pull straight back, you run the risk of getting caught with the edge or the end of a punch. We actually saw that in your last fight. So we're trying to see if it was a lesson learned. When defending and on the defensive end, don't defend with both hands up. We have also seen you get pushed back to the ropes and you lean straight back. Don't put yourself in a susceptible position to take punches that you shouldn't be taking. So I want to see if Goosen has kind of worked around that or tried to give you some pointers so that doesn't occur. And number two, how you can work that, adjust to that, is by being first. Work off your jab. Don't let him get in control and let you push, push you back. Draw the line in the sand. Work off that jab. You're a very fast, very strong fighter. Work off that jab. Throw ones and twos. Throw that jab to the body. Mix it up. But be first. Don't let yourself get pushed back. Like I said, draw that line in the sand and then start coming forward. Throw a jab. Come forward. Throw a jab. One, two. Step forward. See what you can do in a different offensive position. Number three is going to be the Ryan Garcia left hook special. When he's coming in, boom. Throw that left hook, that check hook. He is a shorter fighter, so he's going to try to work his way on the inside. That left hook, to me personally, is might be the, the end of the fight, the end of the night. Because scouting-wise, to go is actually tailor-made for that. So keep that in mind. That check hook is going to be there. You do these three things, you're going to put yourself in a good position to do what everything, everyone thinks you're going to do and knock Emmanuel to go. Doing so would put you, well... Still, question mark, we want to see what you're going to do next. But it'd be a step in the right direction. Maybe you can get a fight with Isaac Cruz, with Tank, with uh, Raleigh, the winner of Tank versus uh, Raleigh's, wh whoever. You know, we just want to see more of you, Ryan. That That's the main thing. Now, keys of victory for Emmanuel to go. Well, one is going to be you want to push him back. You want to see where he's at defensively, if he's going to be defensively responsible, if he's going to draw that line in the sand. You want to push him back. And once you do start pushing them back, you want to have some volume on the inside because you want to rack up as many points as you can. If you trade shot for shot with Ryan Garcia, he is very strong, very explosive, and he is a house fighter. So you want to throw, bring in the element of volume. Punches and bunches, once you get it, get on the inside, make him uncomfortable. And number three, keep that right hand up. There's plenty of highlights where I see you throw that jab, and that hand's right here. Like I said... Taylor made for that check hook, and he's looking to put on a showcase to improve his stock so he can get a bigger fight. Keep that hand right here, push him back, and just volume. If you can do that, you might be able to put yourself in a good position to pull off an upset, but if you look good, maybe you don't get the decision, but you might be able to win yourself another payday fight. Look good, compete, be durable, even if you don't get that win you'll earn yourself another fight. Now, as far as for my prediction, I do feel, believe that Ryan Garcia is going to win. He's going to win by knockout. I just feel like Emmanuel is tailor-made for that left hook. You look at some of the highlights, he's there to get hit. Ryan Garcia picked maybe this guy for that reason, to improve his stock. Might be knockout of the year, might be upset of the year. We don't know, but I think it's going to be a knockout via Ryan Garcia left hook. What do you guys think is going to happen? How do you predict the outcome of this fight? Do you think Ryan Garcia wins this fight? And if he is to win, if he is, and if he does win this fight, what do you want to see him do next? As far as Emmanuel, pulls off an upset, bring him up to the title picture. I know Tank and everyone else would want to face him as well. There you have it from the box office, guys. As I mentioned before, my other social media outlets are on the description box to this video. Please subscribe. Please follow my other projects and stay tuned because I do have a website coming soon so that I can work as a cohesive unit to bring out more videos, blogs, and more media to you guys. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.